Google Keep is one of the least well-known of the Google tools out there. So I'm going to go over the basics of it real quick and talk about how we can be using this in the classroom. So to get to Google Keep, you go to keep.google.com. It's going to see the layout like this. And it's going to look the same whether pretty much you're on a laptop versus a mobile device or a tablet, which is very nice because it's going to look and function very much the same. To take a new note, you can just kind of click here. And this is kind of thing about like sticky notes. It's a basic way. You could have reminders, to-do lists. Um, you could easily, if you go kind of to these three little dots here, one option you're gonna have is to show check boxes. And so this could be something like things you need to do for class, things you need to do for projects, helping your students use this, they can do the same thing. They could organize what they need to get done for their projects or for class. So this could be an easy way for them to keep organized with that also. You can set reminders. So you see this here, I can set a reminder for when this needs to happen. And the nice thing is since it's a Google app, it's gonna integrate with my calendar. I can add in collaborators with this too. So I can share a note with somebody else and we can have a shared note like we have a shared document. I can check the color palette. Uh, so if I need different colors for different subjects or I want those high priority items to have a certain color, I can easily do that. Um, get back to editing here. I can add images. If you're using a mobile device, you can easily take an image and add it to a note. I've done this recently, take images, I uh, take pictures of parts of my bike so I knew what parts I need to replace. I can archive these messages when I'm done so I don't have to delete them if I want to come back to it. And then the other three dots here, yes, labels. Labels are kind of the big ones. We're talking about organization, I can add different labels to this. So my label could be that class I'm teaching or my label could be that unit I'm dealing with. So I can add stuff to that. So the nice thing with this too is I think Google Keep, because it's on mobile device, you easily keep those to-do lists very handy with you or if you want to write down quick notes to keep track of. The Sticky Notes app that was on the Mac or similar computers uh, works well but stuck to that device whereas the Google Keep is also going to be available on your mobile devices. All your labels are going to be here. So again, if I use a label for a class, I can easily find those ones just for that class. Otherwise, this is a very simple tool to use. The ability to collaborate on those notes can make planning with other people much more easily accomplished. Uh, you can use this to help keep organized what you need to do in class, take notes on student performance or feedback. This is a lot of possibilities with Google Keep because it's a very simple tool to use. It's available on all your devices and you don't need to be worried about what device it's going to be saved on because it's going to be attached to your Google account.